But I refuse to accept we live in a world where God has created people who no matter how hard they work and how good their life becomes, mm. can't be happy. I don't accept that. I accept that the universe is a very giving place and that God loves all of us. And if you try your best and you work hard, you can become a better person. And I also will argue with you and I'll counter the point that you sitting here on your platform telling people they have clinical depression, there's nothing they can do about it. It's far I more dangerous. Say that. Okay, well then, if they have clinical why depression... Do you mis- why do you misquote me? No, because you're you saying... You hate being misquoted. No, you're saying if people have clinical depression... That I they, understand they have nothing to do about it. They go to a doctor and they get diagnosed cool. and they get help. Then I would argue the point that if it's somebody... the opposite of what you just said I said. I would argue the point that if somebody has depression of any kind, whether it's clinical, whether it exists or not, whether they feel mm. depressed or not, whatever that taking control of their life, taking personal responsibility and working hard is always going to be the positive, best thing they can possibly do for their life going forward. How positive and the people going is around it? Them. How... So sitting here saying, I don't believe in clinical depression, you don't believe in depression. No, I don't. I believe that people can take control and fight against things. Right. I believe in personal sovereignty. Right. Fine. Good. So I... we agree. No, we don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. You Fears are we... on my side. You're afraid of being canceled along with me. As I said to you from the start, that's all I agree is. with a lot of what you say. Completely. So we're uh, talking but about... I'm taking you to task over the stuff I don't agree with. Sure. And I'm just not sure you understand why it's wrong, which no. is in itself quite revealing. Let me talk to you about Alex. I... Let me talk to you about Alex Jones, right? Who I have a bit of history with. He tried to get me deported from the United States. Oh, did he? Yeah. What is your view of Alex Jones? I think that Alex Jones is a sovereign individual who, very much like the rabid left, deserves a chance to speak on his points of view. I think that the truth on issues is usually somewhere in the middle between two extremes. And I so think, you think Sandy Hook was staged? I don't know anything about Sandy Hook. Really? You know he's just been sued by the families for no. millions and millions. I have no idea. You don't know anything about it? No. So why would you support someone in public when you know nothing about the most infamous When have I supported him in public? You have supported him in public. I've been on his podcast. Yeah, but you said nice things about him. I say nice things about lots of people. What do you think about Alex Jones? I said nice things about you, Pierce. That's fine. <laughs> so, so you should. So, I'm a nice person. So the, I, to sit and say that I've been on a podcast and I say nice things about but him you said you support, support uh, you support his right to speak about things like Sandy Hook? I- 